This video is part 5 of 5, where we're going to focus on the internal rate of return example. You can also refer to part 1 of 5 for the project selection theory. You can go to my YouTube channel, Peter Harnemeyer. You can just type that into the YouTube search and select the basic project selection technique playlist. And I will also recommend that you watch part 4 or 5, which is a net present value example prior this video. And some of the other videos that forms part of this series is part 2 or 5, which is a payback period example, part 3 or 5, which is a return on investment example, and then part 4 or 5, which is a net present value example. We're going to start off with project A where we've got an initial investment of $150,000 and the project cash flow for each year, which is income minus expenses for each year. For year one, it's $80,000. For year two, $55,000. For year three, $50,000. Year four, $25,000. And year five, $20,000. That is our cash flow. We're going to use the formula present value equals to the future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n. And we're going to start off with an i of 8% per year. So for year 0, our initial investment is minus is $150,000. Now for year 1, we can calculate our present value by using the formula. So it's 80,000 divided by 1 plus i. i is 8%. So it's 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 1. For year 2, it's 55,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 2. For year 3, it's 50,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 3. For year 4, it's 25,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 4. It's 18,376. And for year 5, it's 13,612. And our net present value for project A with an I of 8%, our discounted rate of 8%, it's $42,908. Dollars. Now we need to establish as part of your internal rate of return where the net present value is zero. And we're going to do that through an iterative process. Let's say i is 21%, and we're going to calculate the present value when i is 21%. So the net present value is 1,279 when i is 21%. So we need to establish when the net present value is zero. So now let's just increase the i was 1%, to 22%. We calculate the net present value. It's minus $1,252. So net present value will be zero between 21 and 22%. If I is 21.5%, so the net present value is zero when I is 21.5%. So the discounted rate for project A is 21.5 percent. Now for project B, we've got the same, we've got the cash flow, and we're going to start off with I as 8 percent. We calculate the present value for each year. And for the discounted rate of 8 percent, the net present value is $13,264. Now if we increase our discounted rate or interest rate to 11%, the net present value is 2218 Increase it with another 1% to 12%. Our net present value with a discounted rate of 12% is minus $1,194. So we can see the net present value of zero will be between 11 and 12%. So 
Now the net present value is zero at 11.6%. Now for this example, the internal rate of return for project A is 21.5% and the internal rate of project B is 11.6%. We can also plot the net present value against your discounted or your interest rate. And from the plot, we can see for project A, it cuts the zero line at 21.5% and for project B, it cuts the zero line at 11.6% and we will select project A which has the highest rate of return. Thank you for watching this video and if it was helpful please like it. You can click on the links below to watch some of my other project management related videos or you can type Peter Rademeyer in the YouTube search to find my YouTube channel.